Hello, we are the AIAA Design Build Fly Senior Design Team from the North Dakota State University Mechanical Engineering Department. Our senior design team consists of four members, including Alex Kunkel, Tyler Lickfelt, Charles Hickman, and Ashnala Neji Ronigal, mentored by Dr. Susan and Dr. Zhang. Our project involved competing in the AIAA Design Build Fly Remote Control Aircraft Competition located in Wichita, Kansas. This competition includes submitting a proposal, 60-page design report, and building an aircraft. This year's competition was COVID-themed, with four missions involving both the transportation and remote deployment of syringes and vaccine biopackages from the aircraft. Before designs were created, a sensitivity analysis was conducted based on the mission scoring parameters. A maximum aircraft capacity and speed was desired. Concept scoring was done for each aircraft subassembly. Aerodynamic theory and XFLR5 were used in designing the wing size and control surfaces. The final design is a square high wing utilizing a NACA 4412 airfoil. The wing features ailerons to assist in turning with a wingspan of 66 inches and a cord length of 11 inches. The fuselage was designed to carry competition cargo, house the electronics, and be quickly loaded and unloaded. The tail fin went through a large redesign process. The final design features a flat plate with crossbeams as added supports. The size of the elevator and rudder were, all, were increased significantly to assist in flight control and stability. For deploying packages, a conveyor belt utilizing 3D printer belts was designed. The drop-off mechanism consisted of a side opening hatch that slides packages out of the fuselage. A Scorpion motor was selected with a 100 amp electronic speed controller. Servos were used to control various parts of the plane. The manufacturing process involved laser cutting balsa wood into the structural parts of the aircraft, which were then glued together. The landing gear was 3D printed using PLA filament and then attached to the aircraft. Heat was then applied to monocoat, a thin adhesive film to adhere it to the balsa surface. Wingtip testing was performed to ensure the wing can support the load of the aircraft and to balance the aircraft's center of gravity at the ideal location for each cargo configuration. The package loading and deployment mechanisms were also tested to ensure proper function and performance. Electronics and control surfaces were tested to determine an adequate response. Flight tests were conducted returning both pilot feedback and useful flight results. Our team was accepted into competition through our competition proposal. A 60-page design report was then constructed and submitted for scoring. Prior to competition, testing provided safe controlled flight with all mechanisms functioning properly. After a successful ground mission, the first flight mission caused the aircraft to crash due to unfavorable wind paired with a new pilot and mechanical failures. Despite the undesired results, we enjoyed the process and learned many new concepts. Our team would like to thank our mentors, Dr. Susan and Dr. Zhang, the AIAA organization and sponsors for hosting this event, the NDSU Mechanical Engineering Department, North Dakota Space Grant for sponsoring our team, the NDSU Digital Fabrication Lab staff, and the Valley RC Flyers Club.